The type 1 formal grammar is also known as context sensitive grammar and length increasing grammar. Let's learn why. Take a note, type 1 is a subset of type 0 grammars. Now for type 1, the production rules are of the form alpha a beta can be rewritten as alpha gamma beta. On the left hand side, a is the non-terminal. So we can say a belongs to n, that is the finite non-empty set of non-terminals. The other symbols, alpha, beta and gamma, these belong to V star. What is V star? V star is n union t whole star, that is any string over non-terminals and terminals. Now I told you this C is a subset of type 0. Let me show you how. V star n V star can be rewritten as V star. This is the form of the production rule followed in type 0. Now if you take this production rules form, notice on type 0's form, we have got V star in either side of n. Here also we have got alpha and beta on the sides of A. I told you already alpha beta belongs to V star. So these are nothing but these V stars. A belongs to n, so A is clearly this non-terminal n. Now what about the right hand side? Alpha beta gamma belongs to V star, so this entire thing is the V star. So this is how type 1 becomes the subset of type 0. Then why it is called context sensitive grammar? Focus here, A here is producing gamma in association with the left context alpha and the right context beta. Without the presence of these two, it won't be able to produce gamma. So, it is context sensitive. Let's now learn why the same grammar is called length increasing grammar. And that is because, along with the new form of production rule, we also have a restriction imposed on this. That is, mod of alpha a beta is less than equals to mod of alpha gamma beta. That is, Whatever we have on the left hand side of the production rule must have lesser number or at least equal number of elements than that of the right hand side. So, whenever we will generate the right hand side from the left hand side, the length will only increase. So, that was the type 1 grammar. Want to learn more? Follow our compiler design course at Niswe Academy.